What's up, vapers? You're watching Behind the Curve Vaping. Uh, today I got a good, I got a special video for you. Uh, we're gonna be making e-liquid. So here's the ingredients and a couple extra tools to help us out. We'll start with vegetable glycerin, VG. Whenever it focuses, yeah, you can see it. You know it's VG. We've got PG, which is propylene glycol. Our empty 30 milliliter, cleaned out, nice and pretty. Our nicotine, which mine is 50-50 PG. It's 50% PG, 50% VG. 125 milliliters, and 100 milligrams uh, strength. Then we've got our flavorings over here. Today we're going to be making a grape candy. So first you want to start off with as clean of a... Uh, Work surface as you can. Make sure you have uh, some paper towels. Uh, pretty important because this stuff is likely to leak. And you're going to want to make sure you have gloves. So I'm going to grab my gloves real quick and we'll uh, get to work. Okay, now that we got our gloves on, uh, you always want to make sure to wear gloves when you're making it because nicotine can seep through your skin and it can make you pretty. Uh, Pretty messed up. It's got the warning label on there. Okay, we're gonna start out by opening our bottle up. And just because there's a little bit of water left in there from when I cleaned them out, I'm gonna pull, go ahead and pull that off. Set that next to my hypodermic needles. These hypodermic needles are great because they give you a little better view of you don't have to kind of you don't have to eye things. You've actually got a uh, if it'll, if it's not one to focus. There we go. It's a little better, but gives you a little better idea of how much of what liquid you're going to put in there. Okay, so we're making a grape candy, very similar to a uh, ruthless uh, grape drink, and kind of a mix between a ruthless grape drink taste and time bomb, time bombs pixie. So we're going to start off with. Blue raspberry, nope, sorry, wrong one. Blue raspberry cotton candy. These are all purchased at MFS. These are all childproof uh, caps. Take the cap off. Take the squeezer off. We need 0.2 for 30 milligrams. So we're going to go ahead and pop that up. One, two. Go ahead and add it into our bottle. Put that away. I uh, want to make sure you use a fairly clean surface because the less uh, things to contaminate uh, your juice, the better. Some of these are a little tough. Take off. So next we're going to add our grape candy. This is grape candy by TFA. And we're going to need one and a half milliliters of that. Okay, add our one and a half, throw it into the bottle, cap back on, cap back on. Okay, next, oops, we're going to add our sweet tarts. Sweet tart, another TFA flavoring. And we need 0.6 milliliters of sweet tarts. And you're gonna to want to try and get as little bit little as air as possible, which I just got a bunch. But if you do get a bunch, you can always bleed it out. So let's see where we're at. 0.6. That's a little low. We'll go ahead and add that back on up to 0.6. Oops. That right back, put that on in there. Cap our stuff back. And the last ingredient, which is sour. And yeah, I've, you can notice I'm about out of it. I use it in a lot of the juices. This one I lost the dripper to. But I use so much of it, it's not, uh, it's not likely to run. So, 
We need 0.3 of our sour flavoring. So, and I'm and because of this rest with this recipe, I'm only using about three milliliters of actual flavor. Um, normally, you want to use five to six milliliters. I've just found this, made this recipe a long time ago, and it's been pretty good so far. So I just kind of stick to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and I will add nicotine first. Because of this concentration, I have 100 milligrams per uh, milliliter. I guess. I assume how that is. Oh, by the way, especially with the VG and PG and the nicotine, always make sure to shake it real good. Because you don't want to get a bunch of, especially with the nicotine, you don't want to get a bunch of PG or VG, just PG or VG and no nicotine. And that's the wrong hypodermic, wrong needle. Um, because of this concentration, I only need about one milligram, milliliter. Actually, I need 0.9 milliliters to make it three milligrams. And I will list a uh, site with a calculator, and I will also list a site with some online recipes. Usually you're, usually you're going to find it's going to be five um, for three through for three milligrams it's going to be five milliliters of flavoring one ish of nicotine and about five or six PG and then 22 ish something like that. I'll probably do the math one, add and stuff, and, be com and realize I'm completely wrong on what I just told you, but... Okay, now we're going to add our PG, which we're going to add 5 milliliters. And because my level's a little low, I kind of have to tilt it. All air. Great. Uh-oh. Leaking already. Add that oh. add that into our thirty milliliter. I always recommend using a lot having a lot of paper towel on hand. Especially if you're working on a hard surface that matters. This one's just a little metal plate that I have sitting around. Works perfect. I could sit on the ground and work on it. And you're gonna to want to add your VG. As you can see, I'm pretty low on it. This is the last bottle I'll be able to make with this bottle. Because of that, I'm not gonna measure it out, but pretty much just do the math. You do, we'll just go ahead and do the math right now. You got five here, you got one here, there's six, plus another five PG that enhances the flavor and gives it a little bit more of a throat hit, makes it not so thick. So that's eleven. To make 30, we need uh, <clears throat> 19, roughly. A lot of times you'll use less than 5, but that's about where I, I keep the limit at, is on 5. And because I don't have a whole lot left, I'm just going to go ahead and use what I've got left to make this bottle. And there we go. Hey, I've even got a little bit left. Not enough to make another one of these, but... And then... You recap it. Actually, I filled that up a little too much. 
that'll be alright. I like my juice a little thick. Um, I'll uh, include a calculator, so if you prefer thinner or thicker juice, you can just add your, um, you can just put your numbers in there. I'll include a link to MFS and uh, so you can uh, look at their they what they carry. They carry a lot of things, uh, not just mixing supplies. They carry uh, tanks and uh, tanks and pre-made juices and things. Um, anyways, always remember to cap your stuff. I've lost some VG doing it that way before. Make sure you wipe this up real good. Make sure it's pretty clean. You don't want to get a bunch of nicotine on on you. Uh, they have DIY kits on MFS. I don't really know what they started out with. Started out as price wise because I haven't bought a kit in a while. And then once you're done, throw away your gloves and give this a good shake. Uh, after you've done making the uh, juice, always make sure to give it a nice good shake for at least a minute. And uh, kind of want to let it, at first it'll be kind of a milky, almost look milky in there because it'll be all the different uh, viscosities and they won't be mixed yet. But by the end you want to kind of get a clear, a fairly clear, maybe some air bubbles and stuff, but fairly clear juice. You want to give it a good shake. And uh, usually you want to kind of let it steep for a couple of days. Uh, candies and fruits and stuff like that, you don't have to worry quite as much about uh, uh, as far as steeping time. And steeping is just letting it sit. I mean, that's all it is. Let it sit somewhere fairly cool, uh, fairly dark. Just let it sit for a few days as far as candies and uh, fruits go. Um, desserts you want to leave for a couple of weeks. I'd say at least a week on the desserts. Um, but, uh, some of these candies, if you shake them up well, good enough, and especially if you need it, if you're out of juice, and your local vape shop is closed, or, you know, your gas stations don't carry any, or you don't like the gas station ones, or, you know, if you're broke, uh, and you need something to smoke right away, then, I mean, usually you can just smoke them right after you shake them up. It's not a big deal. It's just it's just how the uh, steeping changes the flavor a little bit, makes the flavor better. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, you're watching Behind the Curve Vaping, and I'm Teddy. Uh, I'll see you next time.